My name is Jake O'Kong, and this is the Nikon S3. So this is my first rangefinder camera, and coming from the Olympus OM2 SLR, the S3 felt surprisingly comfortable. This camera was designed to compete against Leica's M series, and the build quality really shows that. The S3 is built like a tank. With its all metal construction, this camera will endure generations as it already has. It truly has a timeless look that would look great in any photographer's hand. Since it's all mechanical, that means there's no light meter in this, so you're either gonna have to use an external one or shoot using Sunny 16. Um, there's also apps out there that I use. I have one called Light Meter. I'll put a link in the description. I'll put it on screen. Another feature that really stood out to me was the one-to-one -one viewfinder. The frame lines are huge and the focusing patch is extremely contrasty, allowing you to focus in almost any lighting situation. This camera has frame lines for the 35, 50, and 90 mil lenses. However, you'll see them most of the time with a 50 1.4 or 50 f2. The 35 mil lenses are pretty rare and quite expensive. One issue I have noticed with the viewfinder is that depending on where you hold it to your eye, it can be difficult to see the frame lines. However, you can get used to it pretty quickly. Probably my favorite feature of the camera is the focusing knob. It allows you to do fine tuned adjustments and shoot with one hand if you need to. One thing to note is the infinity lock. Simply press down lightly and you'll be able to focus freely. I have heard people say that it chews up your fingers, but I've shot plenty of rolls through this camera and it's never been a problem. Now I'll show you how to use the camera. First off, you have your advanced lever and frame counter. The frame counter you can adjust to 36 and 20 exposures, but I'll just leave it at 36 because there's no need to change it. Next, you have your shutter release. Around that is an A and an R. The A stands for advanced and the R stands for rewind. Normally this will be set to A while you're shooting, but once you finish your roll, you can move that to R and then rewind your film using the rewind crank on the far left. Next, you have your shutter speed dial. This ranges from 1 second to 1 1,000th of a second, as well as having T and bulb functions. T is essentially the same thing as bulb, except you can click and release the shutter button and your shutter will stay open. And once you're done with your exposure, you simply pull the advanced lever to recock the shutter. In front of your shutter speed dial are your flash settings. You can change them by lifting up the ring around the shutter speed dial and rotating it. On the front of the camera, you have your self timer and infinity lock. The infinity lock on the front of the camera does the same thing as the one on the focus knob. You also have your aperture settings around the barrel of the lens. On the bottom of the camera, you have your back door lock. Lift this up and turn it 180 degrees to load and unload film. Next to that, you have a standard tripod mount, and on the far right, you have a dial to set your ISO. This doesn't serve any function on the camera other than to remind you what ISO film you're using. To remove the lens, press the small tab underneath it and rotate clockwise. To reattach the lens, line up the two red dots and rotate counterclockwise. Whenever you're taking off or putting the lens back on, you must have your focus set to infinity. Now I'd like to go over some photos I've taken with this camera and lens combination. This is in no way a scientific breakdown of the lens's sharpness and rendering, but just my own personal opinion. The lens renders colors beautifully and leaves such a classic dreamy feel to the photos. Stop down, the lens is nice and sharp, and if you're shooting anything under f4, you'll get a really soft and dreamy look. At f1.4, the lens loses almost all sharpness and takes on a whole new feeling. Overall, I love the quality of photos this lens takes as they have such a classic film look to them. The Nikon S3 is easily my favorite camera I've ever shot with. From its heavy solid construction to gorgeous design and unique shooting style, the S3 stole my heart. I hear a lot of people say your gear doesn't matter when your gear inspires you to go out and shoot, I believe that makes a difference.
If you want to see more photos I've taken with this camera, you can check out my Instagram at the link in the description. And if you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and drop them down below. I put a lot of work into this video and I really appreciate your feedback. Finally, I just want to give a shout out to my friend Josh at Eager Optic on Instagram for his continued help and support making this video. Thank you.